Well, hello. Today is the day. We're doing something a little bit different today, and I appreciate everybody's patience with me getting this video out there. I had it all planned out in my head. I said, okay, we're gonna film on this day. I'm gonna edit, it's gonna be perfect. And then it was the holidays, and, and then I was working, and then I was in school, and, but we did it. And I am so excited. I've been sitting on this for a really long time and I could not be happier to share it with you. Uh, so yeah, obviously we are looking at ceramics today. I took my very first ceramics course last semester. And I say first because I completely fell in love with the medium and I would love to do more. So our last project was to make a set a matching set of really any kind. My professor used a tea set as an example, which I thought was really, really cute, but I got to thinking about something I would actually use more than a tea set, and I thought I'd make myself an art set. And so that's what I did. There's about like 10-ish pieces here, give or take, and I wanted to make something that I would actually end up using, so I'm just gonna walk you through what I made and kind of the process of making it. So. Let's start over here with our ice bird, just because he's far away and I don't want to reach over later. So this is to hold all of my brushes, and I wanted to go for like a little like chunky iceberg shape. We used uh, a type of clay that they actually mixed in-house at my college, which was impressive because we don't go to an art school. Um, and I believe this was fired at either cone four or cone six, if that means anything to you. That's just the temperature it was fired at. And we couldn't use any glazes but clear glazes, so all of the color you see on here is actually slip, which is just like colored clay. I really do like how it came out. This was a really difficult shape to get. We uh, did Kirinuki and we also did like slab building. And this was kind of a mixture of like Kirinuki where you just make a big blob and you cut away and then just like pitch pot techniques to make my little seals on top. I'm really surprised that all of these holes actually fit a paintbrush because some of them are very irregular, very um, homemade, like this one's kind of sticking a little bit, but I, I'm really happy with it. I think this might be one of my, oh sorry I'm stumbling, one of my favorite pieces I made just because of how much it stands out and for how functional it actually ended up being. And then down here, I just made like a little dish for mixing colors or extra paint or, I don't know, just holding the bits and bobs that I end up having around. This is a tea bag thing because I, I have a really bad habit of just like putting my tea bag wherever. I'll just leave my tea steeping forever and it becomes like battery acid. So that, that's kind of a little practical thing. These are paintbrush rests for when I'm painting. You've seen my usual backdrop for my sketchbook tours. It is covered in paint. And I don't think it's gonna change, but this is to try and help. Yeah, look at that. There's like paint dried onto this thing. This is to help mitigate some of the mess, especially when my brushes are wet and I need to keep using the colors. So these are just to hold various sizes of paintbrushes while I'm working. I think they came out pretty cute. Some of the slip is a little patchy on the white ones just because it was hard to get all the way across, but I I don't know. I, I like the homemade look of these. I like that you can see, you know, that they were worked on and that they're a labor of love. I'm not going for perfection, just something I can use. This here, this fish, is a watercolor palette, and this is just another Kirinuki piece, which means I just started with a big slab of clay and kind of carved away slowly with tools. And so I wanted to make a bunch of different deeper pockets that I can use for different colors. And I really do like how this one came out. Uh, it took a while to get everything even and to get it all covered in paint, but I am a big fan. Paint slip. <laughs> this guy is probably the wonkiest piece I made, but I, <laughs> I really like it. I'm attached to it. This is my crazy lopsided bowl just for mixing paint water and rinsing my brushes and whatnot. Uh, and there's this really funny half-melted seal on top. Uh, my professor accidentally knocked him off at one point, which is very funny. Um, and then a matching mug, just a tiny little itty bitty mug. Small on purpose because I need to drink less caffeine and also I just wanted something that would match this and kind of tie it all together in the set. Uh, let's move over here. This little guy is to hold my tablet pen or just any like bigger, chunkier pencils or utensils that I have that I'm working on. And this, I know I said that might be my favorite, but I think this is definitely my favorite piece I made. 
I really, really just like how he came out and the shape and the colors and I, I don't know, I would love to make more things like this if I found the space. I I wish it was more accessible to get into ceramics. I feel like a lot of studios, it's expensive and it makes sense as to why it's expensive because you know, running a kiln, getting the supplies, it's not cheap, but it is hard to find a place where you can just do your own thing. So I might start working with air dry clay, I think, and try and make a few little, little beasts like this. And then here are my plates. They got a little fishy and a big seal. And I figured these would be good for blending or just, you know, setting my little things on. They have like a nice thick rim so that I can kind of control what's in here if there's anything liquidy. And uh, I, I'm really happy with these. Uh, this is slab building, which means we took a big roller and you take a big clump of clay that you kind of like smush down in bits and pieces and then you like squeeze it through. It's like a printing press almost. And then you get this nice even slab of clay and then I just kind of fold it up the edges like this. And again, you can see it's it's wonky, it's lopsided, which I wouldn't have it any other way. That's just the way that I am. Um, but yeah, I, I do really like how these all came out and came together. And I figured it'd be fun today to do a little bit of art with these because I haven't had the time to actually sit down and use this stuff because I have been so busy. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna get that set up really quick uh, and we will do a little bit of painting. Okay, I know I said paint, but we're actually gonna use ink because I've been on an ink kick lately. Um, I just bought this red stuff, which I haven't used yet, but the rest I have used before, and it's mostly Higgins, which I really like, but I have had some friends who've had trouble with it, but in my experience, it's been a very, very good ink, but it's usually not that expensive either. So we're just gonna put a little bit in here. This is exciting, I've never used this thing before. <laughs> Uh, even though it's been sitting around since the end of last semester, so I am pretty stoked to have an excuse to use it. These little wells. But yeah, I would highly recommend ceramics to anybody who's even curious about it if you have the opportunity to take the class. You know, obviously I'm mostly like an illustrator or, you know, multimedia artist. And so using a very primarily physical medium was a huge challenge and I really struggled at first. I was like, I don't know if I can do this because it's just so different from what I'm used to, but it was just a lot of fun. And there's something very, very grounding about working with uh, a physical medium like that, especially, you know, it's, it's dirt. You're working with dirt. <laughs> and I think that is inherently quite literally grounding. Uh, which is just, it's just a great time. It's okay, so we've got some ink in here. Okay, uh, I just deleted like half the things on my phone because I ran out of storage mid-recording, which happens every time I record. Um, but it's okay. Uh, all you missed was me getting this paint water really dirty <laughs> and trying to keep my palette clean. So we haven't begun the drawing process yet and I don't really have a plan for it. We're just gonna kind of free draw and see what happens. And it's very exciting to be using a set that I made myself. It's making me feel, feel very excited. Very, very cool and fresh and fun. Um, so I'm gonna mix some of this black with this red. Though maybe, maybe we ought to try the red as it is. Oh, wait, this is a perfect example. I can use my paintbrush rest. curious about this red. Look at how thick it is. It's really bright, but like it's it's still ink. Like it's not it's not like a paint. So we're gonna just oh, draw a rabbit since it is the year of the rabbit after all. Happy New Year. Hope everybody is having a good one so far and if you're in a temperature like me that you're staying somewhat warm. Like I said, there had been crazy snowstorms where I live, which was just awesome. <laughs> I don't even mind the snow too much. It was so annoying to not have power though. That's my whole, my whole vision, my whole, my whole scheme was just thrown out the window, which is fine. Oh gosh, it looks like he's bloodshot eyes now. <laughs> Top 10 fish who are staying up all night. to have a rabbit. She was really cute. 
She was a harlequin rabbit. She reminded me of like a little court jester. One thing I really do like about inks is how you can detail at any level without worrying about the water, like washing it all away. Unlike watercolor, where you have to be really strategic about how you do it and the layers you do it, which, you know, I'm always gonna be a fan of watercolor, but I, I realized when I was thinking about it, because, you know, I'm always talking about my little secret trick where I take, like, a gel pen and I use water to kind of paint with it. I was like, well, I could just, I could just buy, like, real ink that's already kind of in that format <laughs> and have a little bit less of a, a gamble. So I've, I've been having a good time with it. I did spill, like, half of, not even half, more than half of my ink when I was working on my life drawing class, which was humiliating, and also my hands were, like, stained blue. Because it was um, it was this dark blue color that I'll show you in a second, and so I and I had to go into work the very next morning, so I had like Smurf hands, like it was not gonna come off. So that was um, it wasn't my best moment, I would say, but it didn't stain any of the furniture, so that's good because uh, I think it probably would have exploded and then died in that order. A friendly little guy. which was magical. I, I really like Beatrix Potter. Uh, really just, at least I really just love her work and her illustrations. They're just really, really, really detailed in a way that I certainly can't relate to, but I love to see in art. I'm definitely more heavy on, you know, going kind of crazy with the shapes and the cartoony things, but I, I'm just amazed at like that kind of meticulous detail some people can get. Like, I know people who are like medical illustration majors, and that stuff is crazy to me. Can you see this yellow? This yellow ink is everything to me. It makes me so happy. Yellow is just one of my favorite colors to use always. And uh, this is the stuff that I've been using to make my stickers, which uh, I'm trying to make a shop, but I'm struggling so much just because it takes so much time and there's all these logistics to figure out. But I do have stickers made and I am looking to try and set up a website or maybe just put them on my portfolio and see how that goes. But like I said, it's, it's kind of just been an endeavor. And uh, with school starting again, I just sort of said, you know, this is for future me. Future Doe can handle that whenever she has the time. But I, I do just, I love the distinct marks you can get, and I love just the lines and the way they look, the paintbrush. This little guy is ready for the new year. Get a little bit more red out of my fish. It looks a bit morbid in there, huh? <laughs> The way that I've put the, you know what, don't even worry about it. My process is mysterious. You could never understand the inner workings of my mind. <laughs> bunny. That's a bunny if I've ever seen one. I'm gonna get a little bit more of an orange tone happening over here. Ooh, I kind of like how glowy these look together. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the eye. Maybe the lines. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh, I forgot I have my little plate that I can blend on too. It's all glazed, which is wonderful. 
I, I would love to take a ceramics course where I can like actually use, you know, all the fancy beautiful glazes. Cause again, this is just slip with a clear glaze. So I had to like color it with this clay stuff and then glaze it instead of use the glazes as the colors. So I was really jealous of the ceramics two people in my class cause it's a small college. So we had our higher level students in there with us cause they got to play with all the fun colors and the shiny things, but it's fine I'm not bitter okay add some little embellishments to him and then we're gonna play around with some more colors I'm having a really good time with the set <laughs> I I'm feeling very I wouldn't say professional but I'm feeling pretty artsy we're gonna ignore the fact that I'm getting black ink everywhere right now because that's not happening and I don't know what you're talking about quite frankly um, we'll use one of these guys there's our bunny and we'll, we'll do one more little painting before I run out of time here so I'm gonna use this is the black and the red mixed together and we're gonna draw a this is like a chunky brush. This is a cheap, cheap brush, you can tell. Okay, that's just black. <laughs> Whatever. There's there's red in there, I promise, but I definitely added too much black. You can you can kind of see, like there's like a it's like a warm tinted black. Here she is. See, the nice thing about janky old brushes is you can get some fun textures. Like, I, I don't hate it. I'm not mad about it. And we're putting it back on the brush rest. Let's go. God, I love it here. Okay. Let's do... Sorry, my sweater's all up in your face. Let's do one more drawing, and then I'm going to call it quits. Because I did tell you I was going to show you this blue, which I really, really like. Um, and then we'll do... Just draw a little guy. take the whole thing with me. Yeah, this blue remains my favorite, I think. It just has such a rich color. I'm gonna attempt not to get my sleeve in it. We'll just do a simple hairstyle. <laughs> Do you hear how crunchy this brush is? I want you to guess the last time I bought new brushes. I don't mean to talk about how like scuffed my whole setup is when I do these videos. It just naturally comes out because I'll use a supply and be like, oh yeah, <laughs> I found this in the dumpster. <laughs> if anything, I hope it's encouraging, uh, you know? If, if you've been here, you know my stance. Um, it, it's like, it's everyone can cook, but it's everyone can draw. You can draw with whatever you got on hand. If your brunch is crunched up, more power to ya. We all get a little crunched up sometimes. You know how it is. Sorry, I was kind of holding that at a weird angle there for a second. I do not have my setup to prop up my phone right now, which is also scuffed in its own way. But we don't have to talk about that right now. It involves tape. He's got a little scarf on because it's so cold. It's snowing so much today honestly very pretty but I'm sure I appreciate it a lot more because it is my day off so I don't have to be in the city doing anything look at that that is a blue guy color him in and call it a day Get 
out by stripes. You were fun while you lasted. Alrighty, and there you have it. We have officially tested out my brand new art set, and I have to say, it was really fun. Uh, I will be back eventually whenever I find the free time and the daylight with a few more things that I'm working on. But as always, it's a pleasure. I hope everyone's taking care, and I hope you enjoyed this little video as shaky and wobbly and inky as it was. All right, you guys take care. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.